G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm hooking up my spa to the off-grid system. The spa's in behind the garden here. We'll go in the shed now and show you what's gonna happen. Here's the off-grid system. 15 kVA Victron and 5 kVA Fronius Primo AC coupled. I've taken the access panel off. You can get to that string now. We'll tie onto that orange cord up the other end and bring the relay cable down from the house. The BMV unit has a relay and this can be operated on state of charge. So there's a high and low limit you can set. I'm gonna use 98% as my high. So once the battery reaches 98%, it'll change that relay and bring in the contactor inside, which will power the spa. So once the batteries are full, that spa contactor will energize. Here's the other end of that string. Tied the cable on. It's just a twin active, 1.5 mil, double insulated. Draw that down the service column and into the shed. So I can turn the spar on any time and not have to worry about whether the battery's at 100% or not. The servo has another relay. This can be controlled from your phone. So that relay will be wired in parallel with the relay in the BMV. So it'll either be 100% and that contactor will be on, or if I want to take a spa, I can flick that relay on on my phone and that'll energize that contactor also. I just got back from the wholesaler, picked up a couple of things I needed. Here's the safety switch for the spa that'll be controlled by that contactor. This is a 12 volt DC relay that will energize that contactor from the relay on the servo or the BMV. And here's an enclosure that I bought for the circuit breaker and also for the contactor for the spa. The wiring's complete. Got that cable that goes to the house, up to the contactor. The cable that goes to the servo. And the cable that goes to the BMV. The BMV and servo cables are in parallel with one another. They switch that 12 volt relay. That 12 volt relay then switches the 240 volt contactor up in the house switchboard. I've got a 12 volt power supply. It's energized by this 10 amp breaker. This runs up to here. And then is protected by a blade fuse down here on the panel. I'll pick up another supply on the protected side of that blade fuse and run that up to the BMV to supply that coil. The black cable feeding into this terminal block is from the power supply and then the other end feeds to that terminal block on the panel then from there goes back up to these two connectors so there's your positive 12 volts and this is your negative 12 volts that's the supply I'll pick up for that relay that 12 volt power supply will be switched either by the BMV automatically once the battery is at 100%, or I can manually switch it from the phone via that servo option, which I'll show you later. The circuit in the off-grid shed's complete, but the positive and negative 12 volts. Feeding down here, the negative joins to the A2 of the relay, and the positive connects to the common side of both of those relays 
on the BMV and the servo. And that's the red cable there. That then returns on the white cable from that contact on both of those devices back onto A1 of the contactor. So at the moment, the batteries are full. If I switch this on, that relay is energized. Should be able to hear it turn off. Now I'll just turn it back on. So that's doing its job. I've got to go up the other end now and connect that contactor and the sparse circuit up to the off-grid switchboard. I've refitted the BMV, that little relays out the back. And down here, relay number two, red goes into the common and white comes out of the normally open. This is where I'm mounting that control relay. So the spar feed will come into here, as well as that contactor. We'll feed that from the off-grid board. I've made the penetrations in the wall and the marks for the fixings. Get a screwdriver. Punch that out. We'll get some hollow wall anchors. This is what I prefer to use. They give you a good solid fixing. Push that in the hole. And then use that gun to pull it up nice and tight. I've used that gun to pull those fixings up nice and tight into the chip rock. And just remove that stud and bolt the box to the wall. The enclosure is securely fastened to the wall. I'll put those plastic pips in the mounting holes this maintains the double insulation. I finished that spar controller. Put the feed in from the off-grid board. Feed to the spar and the feed to the relay in the off-grid shed. Then back from that relay, that white cable goes into the A1 of the contactor. And that switches the spar supply on. I put the cover back on now. We'll go and do some programming. Got that looking neat and tidy now. It's all finished off. Looks quite nice. We'll go inside on the PC. We're on the PC now. This is connected via our network down to the servo in the shed. See there, the battery is at 100%. Go and click on that icon. 99.7. Two amp hours remaining. Here are the PV chargers. The system is in absorption. I've got the air conditioner running and also the spa is running. It's winter here at the moment. So we've got the air con set to heat. So that's keeping the house warm all day. And the spa is now getting heated. Because the battery has reached the threshold, the relay is now closed. And that's why it's brought that spa on. There's the AC couple Primo. Only got a few panels on that one at the moment. That'll be upgraded shortly. We'll look at how to set up the unit over on the Victron Connect app. 
So this is the same thing. This is hooked up to the network. If we go over to VRM, then click on your servo. And go over to the device tab on the side here and select on the BMV. This will load up. A little cloud icon there in the corner. After that, we can go into the settings and adjust the way that relay behaves. The page is close to loading now. We've got the relay state down the bottom there. It's closed. So that's pulled that contactor in, inside that enclosure. Therefore, there's now AC voltage provided to the spa. Now that's loaded, we can go into the settings and select relay. Here I've got the relay inverted. This is so the state of charge settings would work correctly. I've set a minimum close time for two minutes and the relay off delay for two minutes also. This is working fairly well. I've had no problems with it. I just put these little limits in there in case there's a bit of cloud. I didn't want it switching on and off repetitively. So the next setting is the relay itself. I only want the relay to energize once the battery is at 99%. So when it's completely full. And then once the battery capacity falls to 98%, I want that relay to clear again. So you select the relay on off toggle, turn that on, select the values you'd like. If you want that relay to close a little bit earlier, you set this figure here a little bit lower. And then this figure here, you set when you want it to clear. So that's pretty much all there is to it. You just play with those settings until you're happy with its performance. So there we go guys, easy as that. We'll go and look at the spa now. We'll check out the results. Here's the spa. We purchased this about 10 years ago. Now that it's hooked up to the off-grid, we can enjoy it a bit more. I made this lid for the spa after the other one perished. This one lifts up with a automotive winch. So I just repurposed that to lift this aluminium frame. With the stainless steel cables that run up through a couple of pulleys over to the winch motor. This made it really easy at the end of the spa when you're completely relaxed. Last thing you want to do is lift up those heavy covers and place them back on. There we go, that's how easy it is. So we leave that set to 39.5. Once the batteries are full, the heater will come on till it reaches that temperature and go back into auto, just keeping the water filtered. So not a bad outcome. I also made a little solar water heater. This runs up through this pipe here, up onto the roof and circulates the water once the panels are over 40 degrees back down into the spa. And check out one of my episodes all about how I created that.
All right, guys, take it easy. Hope you enjoyed that episode. It's a great feature. It's coming very handy to use up that excess power. Give us a like. Stay tuned. There's plenty more updates coming your way.